Hey there. Leave it to me. Consider it done. Flanking doesn't mean you need to position yourself behind the enemy. I think it does. Yeah. I think it does. Be on your guard. Let's take a look. Here. Sure. Foes ahead. Show Stay behind me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not even close. Sides also count. Oh, okay. Is that what you meant? Hey there. We've got company. Oh, shoot. Um. Be right there. Hey there. Oh, my lord. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I should get Choti a ranged weapon of some kind, maybe. Oh, that stuff's immune? Oh, good, good. Oh, that's great, that's great. This is futile! <laughs> Come on! I got this. Teach you a lesson. Mm. beyond seek. Oh, what is this? Adra Ooze Three Skull. Uh, what? Um. Make him on our team. Oh my god, it worked. This game's amazing. Okay. Right here, of course. Oh wow, did that just... Oh, it missed? What's right going on over here? Okay. Um. Can y'all please kill this thing? Just kill this thing. There we go, my lord. What's going on this? Um. There. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm, 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 and then? Mo. Oh. 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 Careful. Girl, where are you no going? Can do. Girl, what are you? What? That's what? not very helpful. What? I'll teach you a lesson. You go for him. <laughs> oh. Not even close. All right. Show him how it's done. Okay. Do, 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 do. Or do you, I go like this. That's not very helpful. Ah. Hmm? Beyond me. What? Why? Ah, oh, 
Pathetic, worthy, and wrong. much done for heals. We got like one more heal here. Yeah. Sure. Pop this up. I'll take you yeah. off. Yeah. There we go. Can you knock this thing down? That's gonna leave it. Ko is getting hit. Yeah. Right, here we go. Hot. I got this. My pleasure. That was about as useful as a bump on a pickle. There it is. That's it. Not exactly what I was going for. I'll be fine, really. I'll teach you a lesson. Oh, there it goes. Awesome. Oh, yeah, you can play this turn based if you want to. Hey, there. absolutely. I got them. Woo! I got this. That fight, though, was fun. Be right there. Oh, my. Nine hundred and twenty XP. Good. We need all the XP we can get right now. Looks like trouble. Need more levels. More revers. Just this guy. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Loth, if you could not like stand at the very front, that'd be good. Yeah. Yeah. Leave it to me. <laughs> of course. Gotta have something here that works. Bonk. <laughs> Dora the Reckless defeated seven beasts barehanded. Moss and grime have been scraped clear of a large portion of this mural, revealing the vibrant hues of the Anguithin features underneath. Animancer's hat. Hmm. Journal entry. It has been a stroke of unimaginable fortune to find an Adravain in such pristine condition. The essence is so concentrated here that even from the far side of the corridor, the pillars light pulses like a star. At times, I almost feel I can sense it, like the warmth of sunlight upon the skin. You'll need to reinforce the central chamber before attempting further excavations. The ruins are unstable, and Scylla's motley workforce of savages and paupers grows more fearful by the day. With the assistance of a single watcher, we can trace the essence in the primary vein and isolate those deposits worthy of extraction. I petition Director Castle in Nekitaka for such a resource, but I'm continually rebuffed. Okay. I must assume that the wretched Alette woman is hoarding them for her fanciful experiments. Transportation. As if we have time to expand on such frivolities. I like him. Beef spuddy. Was the cyberpunk played through a good time? Oh yeah, really enjoyed it. Oh my. That's Odorisi. Oh. Frozen mid-stride, this grim figure is turned towards the colossal pillar of Adder that dominates the chamber. The Ashen's corpse outstretched hands rest upon the crystal's dulled surface. Touched tightly in the remains of a fist is a bundle of papers bound together by a leather cord. Several more pages are scattered on the ground at your feet. I think that's the guy we're looking for. 
Sure holding on to those papers tight. Bad time to take a bite. You place your hand against the pillar of luminous Audra. A dim, warm light emanates from the surface, but it feels cool to the touch. Pinpricks dance along your fingers, Uncomfortable, but not painful. A woman's voice, scratchy, distant, and halting, echoes in your mind. Find your soul in him. You concentrate, oh peering into the Audra's energy as you would peer into a soul. Its inner light is blinding, but as you become accustomed to it, you perceive the core of the Audra itself, a churning mass of millions of soul fragments. With a jolt, the energy reaches out to you. The Anguithin ruin fragments around you, breaking into incoherent shapes and dissolving to dust, falling into an infinite well of dark gray vapor. Even the ground itself disintegrates into nothingness. All that remains is the murky expanse of the in-between. The Audra Pillar, and a skein of golden threads rooted in the pillar that extend far off into the distance. You focus on the threads. You catch glimpses of memories, your memories, mingled among the memories of thousands of other captive souls. The filaments begin to cohere, rapidly twining into a golden cord. With a muffled crack, the cord ripples outward in a violent wave toward the endless distance. The cord undulates over a space so vast that you lose sight of the wave before it finds its end. Then, a heavy creaking, like the sound of mountains shearing under their own weight, washes through the dull gloom of the in-between. A violent force yanks you along the cord at an incredible speed. The murk of the in-between warps erratically, as though you are observing it through an ill-ground lens. Just as quickly as you were pulled forward, you stop, suspended below a massive figure of ancient carved Audra. Like all Audra, it glimmers with energy, but the souls and memories within it are not flowing down. They churn in a vortex that burns at the heart of the statue's mass in some invisible engine. It is Aethys. The great golden cord terminates in his back, sending pulses of energy throughout his limbs as they move. He walks in long, slow strides toward a brilliant pillar of Audra far in the distance. It shines even more brightly in the in-between than Aethys. From within the teeming throng of souls, dozens of eyes look out to you. Through the cord, their collective anguish and despair push <laughs> at the edge of your mind. Help us! Please! Help us! Their voices echo in your mind. Somewhere within their ranks, you can feel the presence of your own soul slumbering deeper in the gyre. Reach out to the lost souls. You reach out to the lost souls, but the incredible power flowing through Aethys' body repulses you. Not even your Watcher powers can penetrate the massive tides of energy crashing through him. The souls sense your efforts and attempt to breach the surface of Aethys' body, but are instantly pulled back down into the deep well of the statue's heart, as though they were pried from the edge of a great precipice. Aethys' stride slows and stops. His head slowly pivots until its great burning eyes are cast back along the cord. As his gaze meets yours, you feel an overwhelming rush of incredible joy mingled with profound sadness. 
You have sensed similar anguish in lost souls, but never with this intensity. It takes great bravery to venture through the in-between, even for a Watcher. Ruined. A swell of admiration radiates out from the God's heart, a force so intense that it momentarily overwhelms you. You do not need to follow me, for their sake or your own. Something beautiful is coming. Something that will save us all. A great light shines from Aethys's brow, so bright that even the souls within him flinch from the source, cowering in fear. Through the glare, you see Aethys's massive arm reach up to grasp the golden cord. The tether carrying energy from the Audra pillar to him that also suspends your consciousness. What does that mean? The sun will yet rise, Watcher. You need only wait for its light to come. Aethys yanks on the golden cord, pulling it from his back. The cord tears into filaments that blacken and dissolve to dust. Without pause, he turns to resume his stride toward the distant pillar of Audra, shining on the boundless horizon. You hear the souls within him cry out for just a moment, before your consciousness is snapped away from them. The in-between goes dark. For a second, you feel a mix of nausea and a sensation like spinning and falling. Then the moment ends. Your consciousness has returned to the Anguithin Arena. The world is sideways, the Audra Pillar upside down. You flinch at the feeling that you're standing on the ceiling. The disorientation overwhelms you and you collapse to your knees next to the luminous Audra Pillar. Previously dim and flickering, the pillar now glows with a strong and steady light. You touch the Audra again, but the chill and prickling sensations you felt before are gone, replaced with a comforting warmth, like the embers of a fire that has just lost its flame. Damn. As you return to the world, you feel a hand on your back. You all right? Come on, we just got <clears throat> you back. I am not sure. I'm fine. Yeah, I heard you say that before. Had something to do with a 2,000-year-old lunatic talking to you in your dreams. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've seen you commune with souls of the dead, but this looked altogether different. What happened? Thousands of suffering souls were trapped within Aethys. I was powerless to help them. I don't believe the god of rebirth wishes souls to suffer. If he's harvesting them, he's got a plan. Who is um, who is Matt Mercer played by? Uh, Matt Mercer is Shulti and me. I'm actually voiced by Matt Mercer like right now. Yeah. What did Gon say? Is he going to meet us? What do we do next? He charged you with a divine calling, didn't he? Just like he's done for me. Guess this is why I'm captain. He's moving towards the Luminous Adra. How hard can it be to find... In a chain of thousands of islands. Yeah, yeah. I wonder what he's after, and why he's been giving me these dreams. The things I've seen, they leave a mark on your soul. I may not know what Gon's got planned for me, but clearly he wanted me to meet you. Okay. Boop. Very cool. Some serious progress there. Hell yeah. All right. Still got more to do down here. Let's keep poking around. Yay, vessel flesh. I got this. I got this. Hey, watch out. A rusted copper construct. Whoa, whoa. Oh, a couple of them. Look. Okay. Hmm? Sure. Hey there. Hi. Mm hmm. How may I help? Ah, oh, thank you. And rough. Sure. 
boom, 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 boom. Actually, let's do you. Ha! That's not very helpful. Oh, try this. Yeah. No one noticed that, right? Every day. Okay, the other guy's coming up. Mm, Toe's getting hit a little harder than I'd like. Hey! How are you on? Leave it to me. I'll teach you a lesson. Whoops! Make sure to heal us up. Mm. Oh, come on! Me and you are about to mix, Moe. Um, Nani? What can I do? So mm -hmm. can I whack him? Any harder? Mm -hmm. I got this. <laughs> Course. Hang it. There we go. How do you like that? Mm -hmm. I'll light the darkness. What can I do you for? Not even close. How you feel about the rogue cipher so far? Liking it. Yeah. Yeah, it's fun. Definitely digging sure it. Sure thing. Still, I feel like I'm just starting it. Like I, I, I'm barely getting it um, down so far. Got a lot to learn and a lot of skills to get, but it's been fun. We've done some really tough fights so far. I do need to drink some water. Dude. Right, where else can we go? We haven't gone down in this main section yet, or down these stairs. <clears throat> See what's down here. I need like a coast a close quarters one. Let's make this one super close quarters. There we go. Yeah. Could be a fight. I'll teach you. Whoa. Okay, you stand here. <laughs> Where are all these? Oh, gunpowder barrels. Oh, really? Uh, I'm gonna do a freeze. Here. Right there. Man, where's my little AOE ability when I need it, huh? I need something stronger. Lavaru, be I need to get more AOEs. Big time. Oh, I shouldn't. Yeah, no, keep doing what you're doing. You're good. This is futile. I'm better than that. Ugh. Ah, this won't do. Did that not work? Oh, missed. Oh, my God. I should have rested. I really should have rested. Yeah. <laughs> Not my best moment. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I may have made a huge mistake. So he's definitely. Another withers on the line. Good talk. Does Co have any plans to revisit Stardew anytime soon? Not soon, but I am planning on revisiting Stardew. Yeah. I thought this was a solo run. Uh, nope. Plans for a solo run. Such a cozy fire. Keep it down. Wait, look there. I want to blow hey. that up so bad. Wait, who saw me? Oh yeah, there, okay. Does a lock have any kind of like, bar, like this is a, I don't think that's gonna work. And a flame sub's good though, but not quite what we need. Oh, that's not good. Maybe we can bring it no can do. I'll think we're the wrong. Kill whack 
him any harder. That looks pretty good. I'll usually work. Oh. 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 Easily. I'll teach. I got it. Ow. I need something. What do you need? Uh. Okay, hold on. That's really strong. Um. Okay. So. Let's try this a little bit differently. Keep it down. Right there. Foes ahead. This thing isn't doing the job. Of course. Uh, most. Okay. Convenient. Paralyzed. Leave it to me. Isn't this something? Uh, no one noticed that, right? Show them how it's done. Uh! Nuh uh, didn't work. Lava will be on. Of course. Man, dude, that thing's keep the thing keeps oh. missing. <laughs> Stop it. Mm -hmm. I'm missing. Yeah. Oh, he's paralyzed too. Shoot. Uh <laughs> that's not good. Uh you. Oh, you're paralyzed as well now. My lord. Mm -hmm. That's it! Sure. I'll teach you a lesson. Reminds me a lot about Baldur's Gate. Yeah, I mean it's it's very similar. They're CRPGs. Yep. That was about as useful as a bump on a pickle. All things yeah. must come to an end. Uh oh. Even me. Nope. And that's how it's done. Nice. Woo! And these fights are great. These are a lot of fun. What can I do? I hear you. Give me a real job. I'll see what I can God. find. All the stuff. Aquamarine. Cool. Tattered note. I wasn't sure about the constructs at first. These new techniques may be less extreme than those of the eccentrics like Galvino, but it gets harder to remember that once the hulking things are moving around like large, noisy, witless dolls. Constructs require daily maintenance and they make the workers uncomfortable. Still, they've been an effective deterrent to the local wildlife, and I have to admit I've started to feel safer with one of them standing nearby while I work. But Rissi despises the things and avoids them if possible. That alone has considerable benefit. Their boss sucks. What this calls do? for assault. There. <laughs> Ooh, fine dagger. Our first weapon upgrade. Hmm. Hmm. I don't want a place to rape here. Let's see. So it does more than the rapier. It has better pen. Higher accuracy and less. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Cool. Great. What can I. All right. Awesome. How many consumables have I used? A good amount. I've been using potions and, and other stuff. I, I have been. Mostly. Kind of. Maybe. Perhaps. A little bit. Oh. Und puzzle? Ornate bronze fixtures appear to be uh, braziers. Soot lines the interior. 
Okay, hold on. Leave it alone. Save. Light. Consider it done. Light. Okay. Um. Well, 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 after you. Bold, the reckless, and the fortunate shall pass safely within. The bold, the reckless, and the fortunate. Okay. Fortunate. So that one right there. That one. There's the fortunate. The bold. So that one. Definitely that one. No. So it's it's definitely that one. No. Okay, it must be bugs. It's definitely that one then. No. Then, well, then in that case, I mean, it has to be that one. Yeah. See, it's. I mean, of course, that's that's the obvious one. Gladiator sword, corroded blade. Um, 